Okay, so what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel for those of you who are returning and for those of you who are new here My name is Kat and for today's video. It's gonna be the first video in a series Yes in a series because during the whole pandemic aside from collecting plants. I've been Fascinated with crystals lately, so yeah, so this is my first ever crystal haul. This is actually what jump started my crystal collection. And I, yeah, I just wanted to share some of the pieces that I got from this haul. And I hope you guys enjoy. So keep on watching. Before I forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and the notification bell as well so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. These crystals I accumulated, um, I accumulated in a span of around like six months, I guess. So not everything is purchased in one go. And a bit of a background. So I've always seen I've always seen crystals and they've always been very pretty. It's just that it never really caught my attention until recently. My first crystal was actually given to me by my sister years and years ago. So long ago. But years ago. And um, these are the two crystals. I still have them. These are the two crystals that she had gifted me before. So this is a rose quartz. And then the other one, I actually do not remember what it is, but looking at it, it kind of looks like a fluorite, but I could be wrong. Yeah, these were my two um, starter crystals. So the crystals that I will be talking about in this video are some of the crystals that I purchased personally. Now, I would recommend that you physically go to a store and be able to like hold or touch the crystals yourself just so that you know that the energy is really compatible with yours or that you resonate with it but since it's pandemic and we have been on lockdown all of these crystals i purchased online i've never visited a store whatsoever i do recommend also that you ask for photos not just photos it would be best if you also ask for videos because sometimes photos you know it can be a bit deceiving in the photo it could be like this big and then in real life it's just like this small but yeah ask for photos ask for videos ask for size comparisons before you buy it and don't force a connection so usually well this is based on based on what I have learned and what some of the crystal vendors have told me. They say that when a crystal needs to be in your life, it actually attracts you. So you could not be attracted to pink, but for some odd reason you are attracted to rose quartz. Maybe at that moment in time you are in need of some self-love or to give love or anything related to love. So rose quartz calls out to you. Don't force a connection. If it calls you and you have the budget, go for it. If it if you don't, then it's all right. You don't have to buy huge pieces. You could also buy what we call tumbles, like these small ones. Um, so they need not be like huge, ginormous pieces to be part of your collection. And regardless of the size, all crystals have the same amount of power or same amount of abilities or benefits okay so let's get the ball rolling i'm gonna talk about my first store this is actually this store actually caught my eye and is the reason why i started getting into crystals this store is called the curious cat ph okay so didn't really have um a specific crystal in mind i just started scrolling down their feed and a few things caught my attention so um, like I said, it need not be a huge piece. As long as it attracts you, it's something that you probably need in the, at the moment, okay? So I purchased a Labradorite tumble. I also purchased a Carnelian. So this is the Carnelian. And then the next thing I purchased is a bloodstone. Not because it's gory or anything, but this is a bloodstone. And for some weird reason, it just called me. So this is what it looks like. 
another crystal that I purchased is uh, that I got from her store is a moss agate but these are the first first crystals that I purchased for myself and aside from well I also purchased a sunstone Aside from tumbles, I also wanted to get something that I could wear every day or every, yeah, or when I'm out. So I purchased a few bracelets from her as well. And my first bracelet is actually a moss agate. This one attracts abundance, prosperity as well. The next crystal that I got from her is a petersite. And then I also got a blue tiger's eye. Tiger's eye or blue tiger's eye, there are many. There's yellow tiger's eye, there's blue and there's red tiger's eye. So this time I got this faceted um, blue tiger's eye and a selenite stick Now selenite is actually really good for cleansing um, It's one of the crystals that doesn't need to be cleansed and charged um, It naturally does it itself and when you can't put your crystals out in full moon or whatnot you could always place them beside a selenite and it cleanses them so this is like one of the, the must-haves in every crystal collector's collection. Next, I wanted to talk about Unakite. So these two crystals I got as a freebie from um, the Curious Cat from some of my purchases. So first one is, the, is an Unakite. And then the next freebie that I got from her is actually a citrine. Now citrine is a happy stone and it's one of the stones that attract um, abundance, wealth, prosperity. So yeah, citrine is one of the great uh, one of a one of the great manifestation crystals that that are out there. Okay, so my next store is Clear Space Manila. The first piece that I got from her store is this beautiful agate slice. I'm not sure. It's gonna do any justice to how pretty this piece is, but look at that. The banding is insane. I'm not sure if you could see it, but the banding is so pretty. Okay, next thing I got from her store is a selenite wand. So, like I said earlier, these are a great addition, always a great addition to a home and for cleansing, for um, charging as well. The last thing that I got from her store is a sakura agate. So this is what it looks like. And just like the name, it really looks like cherry blossoms. Right? Don't you think? So it's a nice sized um, uh, crystal for me, I guess. But yeah, this is a Sakura Agate. And then the next store that I purchased from is Celine Crystals. And this first one that I got from them is a Bloodstone. So I'm gonna give you a close up view. So that is what the bloodstone looks like. Well, it is said that the bloodstone is called such because it dates back from when Christ, in, in Christ's era. And they say this is actually Christ's blood that fell onto the ground and um, took form into rock sediment. Next, I got a larvakite, a larvakite um, stone. So this is what it looks like up close. Yeah, you could see flex. 
metallic sheen in there too. And then I got myself my first appetite. Okay, now they say appetite curbs your <laughs> appetite. It just helps with um, weight loss. So this is the stone. And then the next store that I wanted to talk about was Tri Crystals. This is actually my first um, tiger's eye. It's not like the usual sized um, um, tumbles or cubes that are really tiny. This is actually pretty big. So this is my first um, ever tiger's eye. So pretty. Something about this that really like attracts me. A raw tourmaline. This is a protection grounding stone. Dispels negativity. Next store that I bought from is called Park Rose Crystals. And what I got from them, so beautiful. I got this from them. This is a black obsidian tower or point. I don't know. Um, some people call it a point, some people call it a tower, but this is for some weird reason this one resonated with me and after reading the benefits it's grounding it's for protection it repels negativity i realized that's the reason why i kind of needed that for the moment <laughs> but yeah you can, everyone should have black obsidian or black tourmaline in their homes or in their collections so pretty see next i got a fluorite uh, double terminated fluorite so it's got some green some purples and a bit of blues in it so pretty if you are into crystals they will tell you that there is a meaning for the different shapes of crystals and this is a DT or a double terminated crystal or point so what it does takes in and it gives off energy. That is what a DT or double terminated um, point does. I actually won one of the games on during um, Park Rose's live sale and I won my first ever pyrite. I think the question was like, what was, what was the color of Dumbo's hat? That was the question and I got this. So I guess it pays to watch the Disney, Disney cartoons or movies. And oh, last but not least from Park, Park Rose, I purchased my first Ocean Jasper. So this one comes from the ocean floor, believe it or not. It comes from Madagascar. That is what it looks like. Next store that I want to talk about is Pinky's Trading Gems. First. Um, crystal that I purchased from them is this Labradorite Tower. This um, Labradorite has blue. There it is. Wait. This one. Well, this Labradorite has blue flash. Blue flash. Um, I think a bit of orange and pink, if I remember correctly. But this is a big size as well. I also got a green aventurine cube. And then I got my cubed um, ocean jasper as well. And then this one, my first rhodonite, I won from a, a guessing game. So this, I love how these stores have games during their lives. Also, you could either purchase these crystals through their shop, but usually like every week they do like a live selling and that's crazy that's like thrilling that's where all the great pieces come out and you should have fast internet you have you need to have fast fast fingers to like type and get your minds in but yeah that it's a fun event or fun fun way to to spend your weekends i guess but yeah i love I saw, uh, my first ever live sale was actually Park Rose Crystals and then my second was um, 
crystalline PHs live sale as well. So yeah, this one I won from Pinky's Trading Gems and this is a Rhodonite. So it's got pink and black in it. And then last but not least, I got a set. Um, this actually came as a set during one of her live sales. Um, it came with an Amazonite. And then it came with a tumbled appetite. As well as an aquamarine. Super cute. Next store that I want to talk about is Crystalline PH. This is my first ever purchase from them and it is a citrine tower. It's very clear, but it's got a few inclusions which I like. Next one I got from their store is a Septarian. I don't know, the, the, what drew me into this crystal is just the pattern. It reminds me of an animal or like a snake, right? Or in the color is... And this is actually a very chunky piece from Crystalline, Crystalline PH. It's really chunky. Um, a normal... A normal... Uh, tower with, is this small so this is actually a hefty size the next one I got from her store is a chrysanthemum and the chrysanthemum is because of it has like a flower pattern and I was lucky enough to get a point or a tower that has a flower but only on the top the tip of this tower so the rest is all black and it's just the tip that has the flower design. So pretty. I also got a smaller citrine ball or sphere. Yeah, and before I forget, um, when you receive your crystals, don't forget to cleanse it. Although most crystal vendors will tell you that they have cleansed it, it's best to still do an extra cleanse um, because crystals absorb a lot of energy. So you do, you wouldn't want something, um, some unwanted energy in your space or area. So cleanse, better to cleanse. You could either cleanse through Palo Santo, which Clear Space Manila always, well, they always um, include like a Palo Santo uh, stick for all the purchases that you get from them, which is great. Um, you could also cleanse using water, but there are crystals that do not do well with, with um, water, so you have to be careful. Usually, if it ends in an ite or an ITE, ite, um, they are not good with water, but I found a found a great alternative to uh, smudging or cleansing. This is what you call liquid smudge, and this is from Soluna. So this is what it is. This is called Soluna, and what it is is it's a Palo Santo and white sage um, mixture, and, but it also has crystals inside it. You can see it. 
yeah so it also has crystals inside it so it's great for energy cleansing for aura cleansing for space and body so in, um, in essence you would just spray um, soluna on your crystal if you don't want to use smoke or smudging through white sage or palo santo so there you have it guys Th those crystals mentioned today are part of my startup they are the first batch of my collection uh, my crystal collection so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll try to link everything that i can down below um, and if you have any questions or uh, yeah questions just let me know in the comments down below um, let me know if you like these kinds of videos as well because it's the first time i'm going to be entering crystal i'm no expert i just really love collecting and i'm pretty sure there are so many other people out there that have super rare and exotic collections but this one for me personally these are the crystals that have caught my attention and that have resonated with me yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video because i will be making more of these crystal videos especially um, of my hauls and my collections as part of this channel um, yeah if you guys have any questions or clarifications just let me know in the comments down below I hope you guys enjoyed my first ever startup um, crystal pieces and I I would love for you guys to also follow the stores that I mentioned and the succeeding stores that I will also mention in my other vlogs and hauls because they have been amazing they have been so amazing with hooking me up with crystals and these are very ethically sourced from all parts of the world really but what really is important when you're trying to get into crystals is that you know where they are coming from and that you have reputable crystal vendors that you can get your crystals from so those are the stores that i mentioned they're legit <laughs> for me um I also I also noticed that there is a crystal community and most of them follow the same stores as well. You guys could follow them as well on Instagram. That would be great. Anyway, that is it, you guys. I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and comment down below which one is your favorite crystal from this haul. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you guys get notified when I upload my next video. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.